Stop. I'm sorry. So, you were surprised then to see him in the car? Yeah, it's creepy. He's following me. I wasn't following you. What would you call it then? I was trying to keep up. You were clearly trying to ditch me. Okay. Again. It's stalking. He's clearly stalking me. And how do you feel about that? Unwanted! and a little abandoned. She's not talking to you. Look, if you're implying that I'm uncomfortable because he happens to be a very large black man, no, that's ridiculous. The black thing again, here we go. It's interesting that you bring up the issue of race in relation with your companion. It doesn't make any sense. Why, if I was racist, would I create an imaginary friend who happens to be black? Come on. We're all a little bit racist. I am not. I just, I just want to know how to get rid of him. Do you know how awkward showering is? Oh, so now it's awkward. Well, Jennifer, like we discussed, we may have to do a little digging to figure out the underlying reason for Toby. Toogie. Toogie. Sorry, Toogie. We figure out the why for his manifestation in your life before we can begin to undo it. Manifestation. It's clear that your subconscious is coping with some external conflicts in your life. So like, if I fix all of those things, then I fix the Toogie problem. Well, I, um, why don't we put a pen in this for the next session? Until then, why don't you try finding some common interests or some similarities that might explain why you chose Tuki? We have nothing in common. Just give it a chance, Jennifer. You might be surprised. Okay. And just to be clear, I didn't choose you. I'm glad we have so much in common. <sighs> Please get your feet off my desk. Calm down, Cupcake. And really, must you be drinking in the middle of the day? I'm on lunch. Well, it's self-destructive. Don't psychoanalyze me. You are the one talking to a guy in a pink bunny suit. And what's with the crap about external conflicts? It could be, or she could actually have dissociative identity disorder. Well. Then you would too, Susie Q. For the last time, it's Susan. And you know what? I might. Bumpkin, you know better than that. Why don't you just get out? You're not supposed to be hearing any of this anyways. Sweetheart, I don't have to hear it. You know it, then I know it. You are such a Nuisance. Now get out! I've got Linda coming in. I think she digs me. She can't see you! Well, I can see her. Oh, no. Linda, hi. Well, 
you know me guys, you know, I'm, I'm usually the last person to start complaining, right? I mean, hey, that's not meant as a joke, but he's a grown man. And he had a full temper tantrum, 10 minutes long, right there in the middle of the bank lobby. It was so embarrassing. I know exactly what you mean. Last week, my conductor dragged me to one of those silly comic book films. How was it? Dreadful. Guys, focus. Let's not repeat last week's off-topic disaster. A sexton was telling us how his conductor's behavior often makes him feel some... less than... Inadequate. No, no, no. Small was okay. You're good. Oh. <clears throat> Does anyone have any advice for Saxton on how he might cope with his conductor in a, a constructive way? Oh, you should count to ten. Or eleven. Valium always helps take the edge off. Poison apples. <laughs> Not constructive. Guys, you know what I think? I think and it's important to recognize that we all have problems, us and our conductors. And when you recognize the problems that we all have, we realize that the problems, not even the problem. Oh, that is very insightful, Sam. You need to quit. That's not fair. His conductor is a therapist. My conductor's allergic to shellfish. Actually, Sam, that's very good advice for Bobo. Bobo. Bo Bobo. <coughs> yes. Um, were you able to make any progress with your conductor? <coughs> oh. Well, I warned you it wasn't going to be easy for her. Honestly, Bobo, every week with you is like the freaking pity parade. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm a monkey. Nobody understands me. Hey, racism, Bobo. You know, maybe if you took personal responsibility for one thing in your entire life. Why are we all freezing? That was a close one. should have helped me down, but we'll overlook it. Anybody want to go drinking? Not funny. Everybody has problems. A friend recently told me, accepting that, <sighs> slow down. Keep up. And stop clutching your purse. Not, this is just how I hold my purse. Well, that makes you look paranoid. I'm not paranoid, I'm cautious. Oh, Dr. Scotian. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. I was just talking about you. What? How are we feeling today? Oh, good, I hope. Not good, as in bad, as in, like I'm dealing Actually, with Actually, I was just telling my conductor right about now, your little insight from conductor? last night. Conductor, wait, who are you talking to? Your conductor is a fox. A fox? Really? Hmm, you think so? Who are you talking to? Um, nobody. I'm gonna talk to nobody. You wanna trade? Shut up, Sam! Sam? Who the hell is Sam? No one. Nobody's talking to... Wait a minute. Who are you talking to? You... <clears throat> I'd like a cheesecake latte, please. I think it best if you find a different therapist. But if you ever need a friend to talk to about stuff. Stuff? Stuff? 
sweep everybody? Ah, uh, no, not everybody, but a lot of people. Like, who doesn't? Um, boring people, mostly. Uh, scientists, uh, meter maids, your aunt, I don't know. What about this guy? Yes. What about her? Oh, hell yeah. What about her? Oh, good day! Are you kidding? <laughs> Wait, but why? You're all a little screwed up in your own special way. Look, you got issues, girl, and we're here to help you deal with them. So, like you're my conscience? Uh, no, not like a conscience. Well, but there's one thing I don't understand. Why did you call me your conductor? You are. We all are. Like a conductor, you know? You're, you're like a lightning rod. We exist without you. But you just kind of conduct us. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so this is, this is your train, all right? Now, we go where you go, huh? You conduct us. Like I'm your leader? Child, you're not my leader. Sounds like I'm your boss. <laughs> uh, no, you're my conductor. I don't like it. What if we're your non-fiction friends? Like, your imaginary fiction, I'm your non-fiction friend. Ah! So we're friends. Oh, oh, and you can call us nannies for short. Charlie, I'm not calling you my nannies. Way better name than Nani.